Shut Up and Dance with Me, because I've got 11 questions for you on popular dances from throughout the ages. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, taking a break from the big garage sale this weekend to record a podcast, and then I got to jump in a car and drive about four hours to Pahrump, Nevada. That is a town spelled P-A-H-R-U-M-P, and it sounds like the uh, sound effect your voice would make when you realize you're stuck there, just like... You know what I'm saying? If you wrote that out, I'm doing a show there. It's a fun little town. They got some casinos and things like that. Uh, I've been there before about five years ago for a stand up show with my friend Jeb Cadwell. We uh, tore the roof off a place called the Laugh Factory, spelled L A F F, which is not how you spell that word. Uh, but my friend Heath ran that place and it did end up closing and he opened a new place called the Office Bar and Grill. So I'm doing a big Disney Marvel Star Wars show there tonight and uh, it should be a ton of fun. The garage sale's been going great. We sold a ton of the stuff, uh, a ton of the big item stuff. The only thing we have is this electric dryer that we have had for the last year since we moved into the house we're in now, since we have a gas hookup. We have nowhere to hook up this um, electric dryer, and we're trying to get rid of that. That's the only thing so far that hasn't sold. We have about an hour left in the garage sale, so we'll see what happens. Sold a ton of Batman collectibles on the first day. Um, Friday morning, 7 a.m. was the start. People were there at about 6.40. And this one guy bought every collectible I had that was in uh, in the package. So every sealed Batman toy, every sealed G.I. Joe toy, and a few other things. And gave me a good amount of money for them. So that was kind of cool to get those off my shelf. Hadn't touched or looked at them in a long time. And um, just kind of wildly collecting things over the years. And now I'm more focused on just a few different wrestling things and a few uh, Funko Pop Disneyland things at the moment. So it's good to clean up the shelves and sold a lot of old comic books and books and DVDs and artwork and different things like that. Stuff like guitar hero guitars that i had lying around um actually sold so yeah it was good it's been a successful garage sale probably the most successful i've ever done sometimes you set everything up you make like 70 bucks and you're like but this was uh pretty good i made ten thousand dollars that's what i'm getting at uh here we go guys we're gonna jump into a uh, short round about dancing now this was a round i did for a kickboxing studio that wanted to do a round about kickboxing and exercising and they also requested a round on popular dances. So uh, these are 11 questions from uh, that live night. Now, it's not recorded live. I'm just going to be asking the questions, but I did write those for that intention. So we'll go over those questions, then we'll take a quick little audio break, and then we'll be back with the answers to uh, Shut Up and Dance. Here we go. All right, here we go. Shut Up and Dance, question number one. What Madonna song doesn't have any specific steps? Rather, you just strike a pose. Question number one, what Madonna song doesn't have any specific steps? Rather, you just strike a pose. Question number two, what dance named after Will Smith's nerdy sitcom sidekick is often done to Tom Jones singing It's Not Unusual? Question number two, what dance named after Will Smith's nerdy sidekick sitcom sidekick is often done to tom jones singing it's not unusual question number three miley cyrus's dad had what huge dance hit of the early 90s miley cyrus's dad had what huge dance hit of the early 90s Question number four, what dance song gives you step-by-step instructions on how to do it like two hops this time? Question number four, what dance song gives you step-by-step instructions on how to do it like two hops this time? Question number five, what Rocky Horror Picture Show dance song would Bill and Ted appreciate most? Question number five, what Rocky Horror Picture Show dance song would Bill and Ted appreciate the most? Question number six, Shut Up and Dance. The Dougie is a dance inspired by the moves of what 80s rapper? Question number six, The Dougie is a dance inspired by the moves of what 80s rapper? Question number seven, Before Michael Jackson made the moonwalk famous, what musician could be seen doing it in the Blues Brothers? Question number seven, Before Michael Jackson made the moonwalk famous, what musician could be seen doing it in the Blues Brothers? 
Question number eight, what famous 80s dance shares its name with an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Question number eight, what famous 80s dance shares its name with an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Question number nine, what was the name of the group who had the hit song, The Macarena? Question number nine, what was the name of the group who had the hit song, The Macarena? Question number 10, What is Love by Hathaway is the hit song from what movie slash SNL sketch? Question number 10, What is Love by Hathaway is the hit song from what movie slash SNL sketch? And the bonus for two points, what are the two character names famous for their lift dance scene in a movie from 1987? This one's tough. Got to kind of decode it. For two points, what two characters are famous for their lift dance scene in 1987's, uh, in a hit movie from 1987? All right. Those are your questions for Shut Up and Dance. We'll take a quick audio break and we'll be back with the answers to that round. All right. We're back with the answers to Shut Up and Dance. Question one, what Madonna song doesn't ask doesn't have any specific steps. Rather, you just strike a pose. The answer was Vogue, the one-word song Vogue by Madonna. Question number two, what dance named after Will Smith's nerdy sitcom sidekick is often done to Tom Jones singing It's Not Unusual? That was the Carlton, like uh, Carlton Banks on The Fresh Prince. I always got Tom Jones and Wayne Newton mixed up in my head. But Tom Jones had that song, It's Not Unusual. Number three, Miley Cyrus's dad had what huge dance hit of the early 90s? That was Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Number four, what dance song gives you step-by-step instructions on how to do it? Like two hops this time. I was looking for the cha-cha slide. Now, I think when I asked this live, somebody goes, actually, it's called the peanut butter slide. Or they just, you know, they gave me like three different slide names for that. So any kind of slide that kind of fits the bill of two hops this time, the one I had was the cha-cha slide. Number four also the peanut butter slide is not a real thing i just made that up on the spot number five although somebody should send me a video of them doing the peanut butter slide whatever that is uh what rocky horror picture show dance song would bill and ted appreciate most i was looking for the time warp the time warp because they are uh, time travelers and bill and ted's excellent adventure and time warps the song from rocky horror picture show number six the dougie is a dance inspired by the moves of a rapper from the 80s named dougie fresh Doug E. Period Fresh. Number seven, before Michael Jackson made the moonwalk famous, what musician could be seen doing it in the Blues Brothers? James Brown. James Brown, I feel good. Nah, 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 nah. I knew that I would now. Number eight, what famous 80s dance shares its name with an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie title, The Running Man? Never seen that movie, actually. The Running Man. Number nine, what was the name of the group who had the hit song, The Macarena? Los Del Rio, which means they are the Rio. That's probably not the real translation, but Los Del Rio was the answer. Number nine. Number 10, What is Love by Hathaway is the hit song from what movie and SNL sketch? Night at the Roxbury was what I was looking for. Night at the Roxbury. And the bonus for two points. What two characters are famous for their lift dance scene in 1987? Now, I didn't say the movie. To make it a little harder, the movie was Dirty Dancing, and the characters, played by Patrick Swayze and uh, the other one, (laughs) I can't think of her name, I just mentioned her, Jennifer Grey, that's the one, Uh, Johnny and Baby are the character names for that lift scene at the end of the movie, and they practice in the water, Johnny and Baby baby all right guys those are your answers to shut up and dance hope you had fun dancing along and answering those questions if you like this show we just hit a hundred for the reviews thank you so much on itunes for leaving a review and especially for chris bien cooley (laughs) bien cooley i hope that's how you say your name like chris is always bien cooley uh, B-I-A-N-C-U-L-L-I. Uh, he sent me a nice email, said he discovered the show, left it a review, and wanted to let me know that he thinks I'm more polished than other trivia podcasts. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. And he said congrats on 100 ratings. He thinks he was 101, but according to my calculations, it looks like, Chris, you are number 100. So I'm going to send you a nice swag package full of a bunch of cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Chris and everybody who's left me an iTunes review. It's only... Uh, up from here. And hey, if I had two reviews, it would only be up from here. But we got 100 in two years, and I feel really good about that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. If you want to support the show in any way, monetarily, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds, throw a few bucks, and get some amazing rewards in the mail. I'm getting ready to mail those out first thing Monday morning. Well, Monday is Labor Day, so there's no uh, mail. But Tuesday morning, I'm mailing the shit out of those packages. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Have a great Labor Day. Cheers.